Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming to my presentation. My name is Kuntira Wongshoroi. Do you believe in ghosts or the existence of the afterlife? You may not even believe that. Actually, ghosts are everywhere around us, but they are. I am here today to convince you that the existence of ghosts is real. Firstly, I would like to define ghosts. Then I will show you some evidence of ghost existence. And then I would like to share with you a true story from my experience. Let's begin with a question. Ghost is defined as the spirit of a dead person who is still attached to a person, place, or thing. Now I will show you some evidence of ghost existence. The first evidence is the law of conservation of energy. Some of you may think that there is no scientific evidence to prove the existence of ghosts, but this is wrong. There is scientific evidence and it is provided by Albert Einstein. He commented that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change from one form to another. When we are alive, we have electrical energy in our bodies. When we die, the energy changes into a new form. What is that new form? Yes, we call that new creation a ghost. The second evidence is photography. Take a look at this photo. It was taken in 1936 in England named the Brown Lady. This has become one of the most convincing forms of the of photographic proof of the ghost. The reason I use an old photo like this as an example because newer photographs are easy to uh, are easy to fade with the program out today, such as Photoshop. Everything can look real, and it is hard to tell the fact from the fiction. But this is a real untangle with photograph. The third evidence is EVP or electronic wave phenomenon. It is a recording of words and phrases spoken by the spirits, often not heard by the human ears at the time of capture. And here is an example. Is very curious that 
why anybody didn't hear this sound? Now you may think that what I have told you are just clapping and believe it or not. Now I'm going to share with you a true story from my experience. Several years ago, I was woke up in the middle of the night and I saw a small human finger standing at the edge of my bed. I kept calling to him thinking he was my brother. But then a boy walked out of my room. I checked my phone, saw it was two in the morning, and I fell back to sleep. The next day, I asked my brother, and he wasn't in my room. My door was locked from inside, and this means that Nobody can come into my room. So that brings me to the end of my presentation. I have briefly explained what is ghost. Is, what is ghost? I have shown you the evidence of ghost existence, and I have told you my true story. A story from my experience. Now, belief in ghosts is not scary, but more like prevention. They exist because of us die. They make no harm to us if we don't provoke them. So, be careful, guys. Those empty seats are occupied by them. Thank you for your attention to my presentation. Do you have any questions? Have you seen any ghosts before? Yes. Around seven, uh, several years ago. How? That's what I told you. I, um, <laughs> I was woke up in the middle of the night and I saw a small finger, small, small human finger standing at the edge of my bed. At the first time, I thought that it was my brother, but he wasn't in my room, and my room was not a rock for inside, and nobody can come into my room. What is was a finger? Or yeah. Or a hand? A finger. A down. A sh it's like a shadow of a human. So a figure. Yeah. Shadow. not sure but I think I was awake at that time and because I checked my phone I um, yeah I still check my phone at that time but and I, and I don't think that I was seen okay thank you for your attention